You know, when we first started coming to Bethlehem, I thought, my gosh, this place is huge. Well, I know from speaking with other members of the congregation, uh, space is obviously a, is a factor. You want to be welcoming of everybody. I mean, you certainly don't want to turn anybody away or have anybody feel like there's not room for them, whether they're members or not. You know, now that I've been coming here for so many years, I see how much more I could be involved with and even, you know, seeing more members doing more things if we had the space. There's many people that come here to have supper, and it's, it's always pretty tight. And even the tables have worked their way out into the narthex. It's obvious that we need the, the, the kitchen to be bigger, we need the, uh, the fellowship hall bigger. You know, it's really important to have that space where, where people can feel welcome and they don't feel like they're all crowded together. Um, in the dining area, waiting for our children to get done, it's full in there. So it'd be wonderful if everyone could all commune in the same area and we don't have to have this separation. The, the staff is stretched then, so it, it's imperative that the congregation be involved. I think we may be beyond capacity at moments. <laughs> yeah, you know, when, I, when you serve, you've got your two tables and it's just, it's very, very cramped and people are looking for places to sit and, and you know, trying to squeeze between tables so they can get to the next table. We are bursting at the seams and uh, it gets to be more than just an inconvenience at times. I think Bethlehem has some tr traditions that it follows, but it's also been open as a congregation to making changes. We've got a lot of gracious people here that step up and are willing to help out both financially as well as with their minds, with their prayers, and different ideas on how we can improve everything here at Bethlehem.